right what is going on welcome to the channel all right so we got some fsd beta and we got some narrow back roads for you this is going to be 11.4.4 this is the latest build that's out for customers currently and um we are back here in like the vienna arlington langley area and uh, FSD has been engaged for the entire drive so far. So I wanna show you how it handles some of these like blind corners, uh, these tight merge areas. Um, all in all, uh, FSD still requires human intervention, but does a pretty good job about handling itself. It actually does um, do the pedals and the steering for you and it handles uh, stop sign control so for someone that's driving a tesla and you got autopilot you may be familiar with something like this but some of the differences are going to be the style of driving uh first of all like just going on a straight road it handles itself a lot differently it accelerates at a way smoother pace and steers a lot smoother it it also adjusts its speed based on its surroundings and it, it's kind of aware about, you know, like one step ahead sometimes on what it needs to do. So, you know, it does make right turns. It does switch lanes. It does do lefts. Uh, like one difference with autopilot, if this light was red and there was no car in front of me, it would just blow past the light. So meaning that's what they say when they, there's no stop sign or like light control like the best way to describe it is autopilot is like a really um advanced version of cruise control what we kind of imagine that would be back in the day because it does take away from the steering and the pedals but um there's a lot of flaws with it they basically kind of put like a regulator on there and you know they want you to purchase the whole full self-driving package um and I want to show you kind of some of the differences on how it handles itself. Like, you can trust it to stop at a light. Um, you you know, it, it, uh, it, it detects objects, it, it detects cars, it detects people. If someone were to just kind of sprint out into the road here, it would just stop on a dime. Uh, with like deer or something like that it has radar you know built in right here and sensors all around the car that it's able to stop uh, so it uses that technology combined with the cameras and kind of you know makes the best decision based on you know your surroundings and as you can see here in like these really narrow you know roads with kind of like cut turns that have like blind spots it's it's able to detect the cars like sooner than i can i mean we're talking about eight cameras you know that's like eyes for the car whereas i have two so yeah I, you know i try to be the best co-pilot i can be for fsd because it's this is like my daily driver if it was not like something you would use on a daily basis i wouldn't say it's worth it but because i do use it every single day on a majority of my drive I think it is I mean it's not something that I expected but you know once it got this good I, I would say I'm, I'm about 80% on FSD now when it comes to driving I still drive of course if I want to just drive I take over at any second but there's a lot of moments where you know I like to see the car and the advancements and how it's capable and and it's really impressive to get all these zero intervention drives. So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more of these and uh, hope you have a great rest of the day.